Simulation games come in all shapes and sizes and we now have Enzo, a post-apocalyptic survival game which gives the player the task to rebuild civilization in the new world. Can you build back better or should you have stayed in the bunker? A massive thanks to the developer for the review copy. This review is for the Xbox Series X and S. A group of terrorists blow up nuclear power plants around the globe and plunge the world into chaos. With only a handful able to escape into the underground facilities called end zones, they emerge to the surface 150 years later. It is up to you as the leader to rebuild civilization in this hostile and punishing world. The game has a very useful tutorial which helps the player learn the mechanics, so I strongly recommend you try that first, even if you've played these kind of games before and are familiar with the genre. The game will see you build different structures, each with its own function, whilst also giving your group the guidance needed to forage, gather scraps and hunt. If it's all too overwhelming, you can pause the flow of the game, allowing the player to take some time to look at the stats and plan ahead. This is very useful by the way. There are three game modes to choose from, tutorial, survival and scenarios, with the latter giving you a chance to take charge of an existing settlement, focusing on a specific task in order to survive, such as surviving without water. As mentioned, the tutorial mode really helped understand all of the mechanics and everything on the heads up display. I did find it slightly tough to get the inhabitants to carry out certain objectives, but I soon realized that the game will point out what command is needed in order to complete it. Some characters will appear on screen requesting specific quests to be completed, which range from building more shelters to amassing enough resources. Having said that, I did encounter a small bug in the game where there was a quest that required me to accumulate a certain amount of resources and then when I did accumulate it, nothing happened and the quest giver reappeared later on demanding the items that I already had on me and the quest didn't complete so it must have been a small bug within that quest line I don't know other than that I've had fun I did find it quite enjoyable and addictive and that's with just playing the base game there it can be quite a learning curve but those used to playing games like surviving the aftermath for example may find this an entertaining alternative. My biggest issue was the irregular difficulty spikes that can occur in a run, so it may be best to play this on the easiest difficulty, get your bearings, and then when you want a bit of a challenge, go onto the harder settings. The game has a decent voice acting cast accompanied by a mixture of soothing melodies. There are sounds of wildlife juxtaposed to the clanking of industrialized progress. These help create the right ambience. I did encounter some issues with some sound effects not playing properly in queue with the action taking place, but it was not a major issue. Visuals are good for the most part, but I personally found that the text size and zoom limitations can make following the gameplay slightly hard. The game does a great job at including different terrain filters that help see the amount of radiation or water on the map. The game is out now on Xbox Series X and S digitally for £44.99 or your original equivalent and will require 6.27 gigabytes to install. Fans of the genre will enjoy this game and it is accessible enough for newcomers. There can be some difficulty spikes, however, that may bring your run to a halt, and it's happened to me. Maybe it's worth waiting for a sale if you are new to this genre, but other than that, it's pretty decent. Seven out of 10, we must rebuild. Thank you everyone for watching the review, I hope it's helpful, let me know if you've picked this up, if you've played it before, don't know if you experienced any issues with it, please like, subscribe, all that jazz, other than that, keep on gaming, peace.